my god, yes, at this background. Okay. Well, hi guys. I'm like a professional YouTuber now, and I have this nice new background that I told you about if you watched my last video. So I'm pretty excited about it. I'm pretty sure I'm centered, hopefully. You guys will see me centered. And um, how do you like it? So I'm not 100% professional YouTuber yet because I don't have a nice, you know, light. So I'm sorry if the lighting is a little bit not that great, but I'm working, I'm saving for one of those. So, all right. So I came across a video yesterday while I was scrolling through Facebook and um, I've been sitting on it for a day because I didn't really know what I wanted to say exactly in this video. And I still don't really know what I'm going to say. I know that there's going to be people out there that don't think this is that bad because you're not actually like harming or hurting the horse. But I don't think that this is like... I don't feel like this is morally and ethically right and I don't think that it's um, good for the horse industry. Now, let me explain. So I saw the video yesterday of the announcement that the first genetically engineered horse may be born in 2019. So a lot of people these days are against genetically modified food and won't eat GMO products, which I don't know, is kind of like... I'm not against GMO food products, but I am against GMO horses. <laughs> and this, the first thing this reminded me of was the whole argument that went on about um, one day, I don't remember like when it's supposed to be able to happen, but like they're working on being able to genetically modify or engineer your children, human children while they're still in the womb so you'll be able to like pick your baby's traits and stuff and they were calling it like designer babies and like people are all mad about that because they were like how could you do that and like I'm gonna love my child no matter how he comes out and which is totally up to the parent that's whatever but that's what came to mind when I thought when I saw this I was just like what this just doesn't need to happen to me. And I'm going to put the video in the description below for you guys to go watch. I don't know why, but lately YouTube has like been demonetizing all of my videos where I have other videos in them. Like when I use like an other person's video because it's not my video. And I don't really know how to fix that. So if any of you guys know, let me know how to fix that because everyone else is doing it. So I don't know why I'm getting demonetized for doing that. I always put like the Fair Use Act, whatever, whatever, description in the description of my videos when I use other people's videos, but um, yeah, I can't do that. So I'm going to leave it down in the description if you want to go click on it right now and watch it. But like the first thing that I just thought in my head was just like, this doesn't need to happen. Why are we doing this? Like, why? I just don't understand why we have to change horses genetics especially genetically engineering them as in you're changing the cells of a fetus so they're gonna go in and change the cells and modify the cells of a fetus horse is what I'm you know like assuming how this works but horses like race horses and performance horses have evolved into the type of horses that they are now from hundreds of years of breeding and breeding and breeding and getting better and better and better to where now we have these million dollar expensive amazing race horses that I don't know I just don't see how it how this is gonna escalate so much when why can we not just keep breeding better and better horses why do we have to like go in and genetically modify them so that they come out better because I don't know how much better they can be us are just gonna blow all the other performance horses out there out of the water which I can only imagine that this procedure or this experiment whatever you want to call it is going to cost a lot of money like if somebody wants 
to go to to uh I don't even know who does these like biologists and say like I want my horse fetus genetically engineered like it's probably gonna cost a shitload. like I can only imagine it's gonna cost a lot of money and I think what that's gonna do to the showing industry is only make showing for the richest of the rich people because if you go into race horse race horses and that type of thing and you want their babies genetically engineered to keep getting better and better and better and better like what if that scientist genetically engineers the world's best racehorse like the best racehorse of all time you know like better than secretariat type of like that scientist is gonna be charging some money okay so if you are are breeding and engineering these animals to keep getting better and better and better then the industry and the demand for it's gonna go up a lot so I can only imagine this is gonna be for really rich people who can afford it and at that point if they're breeding those animals and engineering those animals to be that good then our animals like people like you and me and even like richer people than than myself like their horses are never gonna stand a chance like they're just there's gonna be no point in like big people already that are showing that can't afford to have their horses genetically engineered my boss shows at the Congress like the Iowa Congress which costs like ten thousand dollars just to get to it's like the biggest best show in Iowa like I don't even know if I don't know if other states have it probably but that's the biggest place like unless you go to nationals and even she I know probably can, can never afford to get her horse genetically engineered so I feel like if people are if this actually becomes a trend if people start doing this like all of the middle class like horse showers are just gonna be like see ya like I have no chance now with my <laughs> world's first place quarter horse like people are just gonna be spending billions of dollars to have their horses genetically engineered so that's just my prediction I don't like I'm not saying that's what's gonna happen this is guaranteed but like that's just like how I think it's probably gonna go down and um, that sucks that's disappointing and I just don't think this needs to happen to be honest there's I just feel like this is unnecessary so let me know what you guys think down below because I like to hear your guys' opinions and I read pretty much read all my comments and yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video I actually am done with high school now so today was my last day of school which is why I you know look like an actual human being so I'm gonna have a lot more time to make videos now so let me know what you guys want to see I do have a few requests that um, I have to look into to film and yeah let me know what you guys want to see and Go ahead and comment down below if you want to enter for the January mystery box. This is going to be the last one that I'm giving away and it is US only so if you leave a comment and you're not entering make sure to specify that so I know. But um, yeah, go ahead and do that down below and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye!